Hi, this is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and we are with filmmaker Gary Wheeler. And you sort of flip flop between the producer and the director role, don't you? I do. I do a little bit of everything. You know, it depends on the project. Some I'll write, some I'll produce, some I'll direct. People ask me what my favorite is. I say whichever one I'm not doing all that for. You know, if I could just direct or just write or just produce, then, yeah. you know, I'm pretty you try happy. not to do them all three at the, same, at the same time. I try not, but unfortunately, sometimes I have to. You know, yeah. like a movie like Jimmy, I just produced and wrote or, um, you know, other ones I've had to do all of it on. So, yeah. 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 Well, now. Uh, we've talked about Jimmy before, mm -hmm. and it is now about ready to release. Uh, it's been out, actually. You know, it. Uh, well, that's right. It's been it, on TV. It has. Actually. It aired on the Up Television Network, and then it's been out in DVD release since uh, last year, I think, last June. But the lead actor who plays Jimmy is now one of the leads of a TV show called Rake that's on the Fox Network, okay. and so that's. You know, it's in everybody's consciousness now yes, because I know I, I've been well. I've been hearing a lot about it yeah. here lately, and also, didn't you win an award for this? Uh, we've won several for Jimmy. You know, um, and uh, it's uh, the third of our Robert Whitlow series. Robert Whitlow is a Christian uh, legal thriller kind of author, and it's the third. And all three have won several different awards. So um, it just won uh, at a film festival, secular film festival. In North Carolina, it won the Audience Award. Okay, yeah. and you can just uh, fill everybody in on the storyline real quickly. Yeah, Jimmy is uh, Jimmy is a story about a special needs boy, teenage boy, um, growing up in a small southern town, and uh, it's really a story about how his simple faith and how his um, uh, the way he lives his life impacts the whole community around him, and it's gotten great reviews. The kid. Ian Coletti, who is a pastor's uh, a pastor's son um, from New York City, plays Jimmy, and he really saw it as an opportunity to use his gifts for the Lord. And so, it's uh, if we if we get singled out for anything, it's his performance is remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what what are you working on now? Well, uh, as a good film producer, they say you know you're always supposed to say I have several things in various stages of development. No. Uh, <laughs> Last year, I, uh, I actually was involved in four different productions that finished. My schedule shifted around, so I actually directed four films back to back to back to back. Okay. And uh, two TV movies, one filmed play, and then another film that we have coming out this year. So uh, we have our next Whit Robert Willow film called Mountaintop that will be out this year. Um, and then we have uh, our next Robert Willow film, which is based on um, the book The Sacrifice. It deals with school shooting, and we really want to tackle that issue. And so we'll we'll hopefully be doing that in prayer in school. And um, and so we're doing that. And then um, that that was the that's the one that doesn't have a definite title, correct? Yes, that's correct. It's called A Time to Pray right now, you know. And then um, and then uh, I've done four movies for the Up TV Network, and uh, I think I'll have one that uh, we'll be shooting pretty soon here. Well, you have so many projects, I don't even know where to start now. <laughs> uh, what, what do we talk about? What is our focus here? Any but, of them. <laughs> okay. Well, tell me about Mountaintop. Uh, Mountaintop is a is a, a fun movie, actually. I, I want to do something a little lighter. Um, and uh, I want to do something where the stakes maybe weren't so high for the characters. You know, I've done, you know, movies that show, you know, people in life and death situations, movie dealing with grief, movies dealing with, you know, um, very, very difficult, high stakes things, uh, story. So Mountaintop's about a man who feels like he, 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 he's a lawyer, feels like he hears from the Lord that he's supposed to become a pastor. And uh, fast forward about seven years, he's a pastor and really feels like, you know, he's not sure about what his calling is. And a, uh, um, an older woman shows up at the door of his office and says, my husband's in jail and God told him that you're supposed to be his lawyer. And so it's about a, a lawyer who turns a pastor who goes back and becomes a lawyer again for one more case and how that affects his life. And it's a little bit about, you know, how we can all impact our culture for the Lord, no matter what we do, whether we're in the ministry or whether we're 
a lawyer, uh, you know, a doctor or whatever we are. So. And you said you have several that, are, that will be coming out on the Up channel. Uh-huh. So Correct. you do have just like a relationship with them where uh, you can kind of get them out? I do. We've done, uh, we did The Heart of Christmas, which was with Matthew West, which was um, about 18 months ago. And that was nominated for Primetime Emmy. And so uh, Matthew did a great job of the music and he actually acted in it, you know, and um, Candace Cameron Bure is in that. And um, and it was just a really, um, a really nice film. And then... Uh, and then from there, I did a movie called, they called again. I did a movie called Somebody's Child, um, about an African American family that, um, uh, was going through some turmoil. And that did really well and got a lot of nominations and got good ratings. And so they called again. And then I did, uh, uh, two movies for them last year. One called The Perfect Summer, which is a surf movie. I, uh, kind of karate kid in the surf world with, uh, music by Jason Castro from American Idol. And then Saving Westbrook High, which is about a community that fights for their school and um, and uh, starring a bunch of different people. So, okay, so you're really cranking them out. So uh, are are you coming up with a script for for these or is, do they already have the project and they call on you to, to direct or produce? It depends um, on the heart of Christmas. I got a phone call from friends of mine, Charlie and Suzette Schaefer, that they uh, need a director. And could I drop everything and go? to LA and go do it. And so I did it. Um, I just was a director for hire. Somebody's child was sort of similar. They came to me with a script that was, had won an award. Said, would you be willing to consider this? And so I did that perfect summer. We kind of developed with the network and with the record label. And then, um, kind of the same with uh, saving Westbrook. They came to me with a finished script. So it varies, but usually the phone rings and I answer it, you know? So if somebody wants to keep up with all of the Gary Wheeler movies, sure. what do they do? They can go to levelpathproductions.com, www.levelpathproductions.com, and, uh, or they could follow it on Facebook, uh, which is Level Path Productions. You can like us, and then uh, all of our casting notices are popped up, pop up there, and all of our distribution notices typically pop, pop up on our Facebook page. So then go find us either way. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being with us. And thank you for joining us on Christian Movie Connect. This is Cheryl Arias Wicker. Have a good day.